It almost tastes like if cottage cheese was a drink. Ew. Hey guys, we're Kyle and Maddie and we're traveling on just $60 a day as a couple. In our last video, we walked around Istanbul visiting some stunning mosques and experiencing the chaos of the famous Spice Bazaar. Holy cow, there's a lot of people. Today, we're walking around Istanbul showing you 15 foods, good and bad, that you must try if you ever find yourself here in the beautiful country of Turkey. another beautiful morning in Istanbul. Today, we are gonna try to eat as much food that we can that Istanbul has to offer. Which is a lot, which means that we're gonna be stuffed all day. Yeah, so we're starting out with going to have a Turkish breakfast this morning. We are down by the water just like we were when we ended our video last night and we actually went to a breakfast restaurant and waited for about 15 minutes in there and no one showed up and no one did anything so we left but we're starving and we are waiting to get on the metro so we are going to start out our day of food with a simmon. Hi, we have one normal one. One simmon? Yep. So we actually got one of these yesterday. Um, Kyle got it with cheese and I got it with Nutella. Um, but pretty much it is just a hard bread with a bunch of toasted sesame seeds all over it. It's super simple and it was only five Turkish lira. Welcome to Istanbul. <laughs> it's just good. <laughs> It's like almost like pretzel bread, but not pretzel bread. Yeah, it's good. This is like something it's gonna look like. It's a lot of stuff and it's like 130, it's 130 Turkish lira per person. So it'll be a little bit more expensive for Maddie and I, but it's something that we have to experience when we're in Istanbul. First thing that it always comes with is unlimited tea, so it's just um, plain black tea, and then they have sugar on all the tea. So, not 100% sure what everything is. We've got olives, um, some sort of dip. <laughs> this is like two jams right here. Honey. This is like a cheese and cream. Not really sure what this is. We got eggs, fresh cheese, fresh vegetables. I think this is like honey, honey with nuts. And not really sure what that is either. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try this first. It's really good. It's honey with like a like crushed up peanuts or nuts or something, but it's just sweet and good. So full. Well, we can't eat anymore, and it hardly looks like we touched anything on the table. So I think it was enough food for four people. All right, so instead of riding the tram back, we're gonna walk. It's 
like a 30 minute walk, but we need to walk this food off. Yeah. It was, overall it was a really good breakfast. It was super good. I would, I would probably definitely go to that place if you come to Istanbul and you want a Turkish breakfast. Yeah, it ended up being 270 lira total with um, a water. That's really expensive for us to spend on something. So you know that if we went in there and we're coming out happy that it was super good and yep. worth it. The only issue is there's too much food. Yeah. Oh. So it's a good problem to have. We didn't even nearly finish it all. We're so full. Yep. So we're gonna go back and work at our at our place for a little bit so we can digest our food and then we'll see you back out to get some more food. All right, it is about two hours later and we are actually going to get three of the things on our list just from our street alone that we're staying on. So our first stop is a fresh squeezed juice. Yep. So he cut the pomegranates open right in front of us and then he just put it in his little juice press and see how it tastes. It's a little bitter. It's good, but it's bitter. It was only 10 lira though. So fresh juice on the street, cheap. Oh my God, my mouth is like watering. It's so sour. <laughs> Better word for it is tart, not yeah. bitter. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it's like almost making my eyes water. <laughs> every night from our little stand across from our hotel but it's made with chicken and like fresh vegetables that are cut up we watched them cut up some fresh tomatoes and lettuce and stuff so we've loved these and they're really cheap it's only 20 Turkish lira so let's give it another try it's so good and he sprinkles his little seasoning on top too I would eat these every single day if I could, but it's definitely worth it. So just a five minute walk down from where we got the kebab, we have come across a baklava stand. So this is gonna be our first time trying it while we're in Turkey, so here we go. two pieces of baklava, it was 10 Turkish lira total. Um, I've only ever had baklava in like a shake in Cleveland, so <laughs> random I know, but uh, yeah, let's try it. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. It's so juicy. It, you wouldn't ever think that. This is so good. It's really sweet. And like I said, like you bite into it, and it's just juice. Like, oh, it is so good. You really get stuck in your teeth. <laughs> uh, so we just got two Turkish coffees with sugar, so. We'll try them. I'm so excited for this. I'm getting really tired, so I'm really excited for coffee. In Istanbul, the tea and um, coffee culture, they all sit at these little tables outside of their restaurants. And to us, we just feel like we're giants at these tables. I mean, I'm pretty big to be sitting in this little seat. Mm. 
We got some Turkish coffee. It was 25 lira each for them. We also asked for sugar with it because we just knew that we we're gonna need it. Um, and they also brought us two little waters that were included and two little pieces of chocolate. So that was really cute. Um, but Turkish coffee, if you didn't know, is supposedly super strong and they actually don't filter the grounds out of it. Um, it's just, they just like settle to the bottom. So um, it's super highly caffeinated and apparently just like really strong. So not used to that. So we'll see how it goes. Holy cow. That is like so thick. <laughs> It's honestly really good though. I'm really glad we got sugar in it, uh, but this is like, actually has a super good taste to it. I like it a lot. I do like <laughs> that we got sugar in it too. I couldn't have drank it just straight. It's good. You're literally chewing coffee grounds at the bottom of them. It was good though. <laughs> what is it? I think it's a mussel with like pine nuts in it. They're roasted, I think. I'm not exactly sure. We put some lemon juice on it, but. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's like rice in the inside almost. So we just had those mussels and they were 250 lira a piece. Uh, so all together it was five lira. They're actually really good. Yeah, like the guy that was before us, he just ate, he ate like over a dozen. Yeah. He just kept on eating them and eating them. And the Easily. Kid, the kid that was running the stand was like shocked. <laughs> Corn. Um, honestly, I wouldn't ever get this if we weren't making the video, but it's literally everywhere. You can get it pretty much anywhere and everywhere in the city. Um, but they boil the corn, they grill it, and then they like, douse it in salt. So, let's see. It tastes like corn. <laughs> it's corn. It's corn. Big lump of knobs. It doesn't have the juice though. It's actually really dry. <laughs> it's on. Uh, it's okay. It's not too impressed. It's hard to beat the corn that we have back home. It's okay. Okay, so right behind our corn stand is my pickle juice stand. It says it's only five lira, so I'm gonna get some and see how it is. Hopefully it just tastes like pickle juice. <laughs> it tastes like pickle juice. I'm a big fan of pickles, so this is good. I don't think Maddie's gonna care for it though. I knew she wouldn't like it. It's good though, don't listen to her. <laughs> Hey. 
All right, as you see, Maddie just got her Turkish ice cream. It was, it's expensive, but <laughs> you do it for the experience. It was 60 lira. It's so thick, like. <laughs> <laughs> then you take a bite. <laughs> so we just looked it up and apparently it's so like stretchy and gooey because it's made with this like gummy powder called Celep. It's actually really, we were just talking like we really like it. Like it's not like normal ice cream which I kind of like. We actually came to this place yesterday and got our kebabs and they weren't very good. But we did see that they had um, the drink called Iran. Iran? Iran? Not sure. We've tried practicing with the guy who sold it to us, but we weren't very good then either. Um, it was seven Turkish lira for this and it is um, yogurt with water and salt. So I guess let's try it. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> like it tastes like plain Greek yogurt, which like isn't bad, but then it's super salty with it. I don't I don't love it at all, but it's like one of those things where you don't really like it, but like you gotta keep trying it. Very strange. Um I'm gonna give it a try. It almost tastes like if cottage cheese was a drink. Ew. It's what it tastes like, but it's a lot saltier. <laughs> I probably wouldn't get it again, but they drink no. it a lot here, I guess. Okay, so where we got the stuffed mussels earlier, I'm about to go and get a fish sandwich to pair perfectly with my salted yogurt drink. I'm kind of skeptical on it. I don't I don't really care for eating fish other than stuff like that I cook or my dad cooks, so I'll give it a try. It smells really fishy though. I don't think I don't know how it's gonna be. It smells really fishy. The skin's still on it. I don't know if it's mackerel or what. Oh, this was 35 lira. There's bones in it. It tastes like fish. I'm not a fan. Maddie might have to finish it. Don't get one. Ugh. I'm really picking out my fish though. Well, this is really fishy. Yeah, it's just as fishy as it smells. Like walking up and down the streets of Istanbul when you pass the fish, you can just smell it. And that's what you taste. You pair it with the yogurt drink, it's not great, not a great combo. I'm not trying it. Uh, but we are headed to see our last two things that we need to get. Um, a Turkish pide and Turkish delight. Now that looks much better. It's a Turkish pide, I believe. We're about to get one to split. I don't know which one they get. <laughs> good, good. Good. Okay. We got our pita. From a really nice guy. He's so nice. Um, I have no idea what is on here. It looks like cheese and sausage and pepper maybe. How much was it? It was um 20 Turkish lira for this. <laughs> I think there might be chilies on here. It's good though, it's different. I expected it to taste like pizza, but 
It's a little bit different. It's like in the pizza family, I would think. A little bit different. Maddie and I miss ranch a little bit. Every time we have something that's like pizza, we always say that we wish we could dip it in ranch. Mm. That's the American in us. I'd give this a solid like six out of ten. It's not bad. It's good. It's something quick and easy to get on the street. <laughs> We got some yummy food. So uh, we went into our Turkish little delight store in there and uh, they have these, which are pomegranate. Covered in like cornstarch. And we'll try it. Mmm. That's really good. It's not like as sugary as I feel like you, if you got something in the US it would be. It's really good though. Much better than our pomegranate juice earlier. And the next one we got has Nutella in it and I think it has some kind of berry in it is what I tasted from the um, little sample he gave us. But all together this was 35 Turkish Lira. It's so good. I want to say maybe like strawberry on the inside with it. It is seriously so good, like one of my favorite like little treats I've like ever had. We had a lot of good food today. <laughs> a couple of questionable items, but overall, Turkey has some really good food. Or I some should of say, the best. Istanbul has some really good food. Right, some of the best we've had. Like seriously, the food is so good and it's so cheap that I feel like it's. Ten times better. And the amount of money we spent is so small for us. Like, so other Air, I'll yeah. put our Airbnb below right here, and then I'll also put the complete total for the day of what we spent. I think with our Airbnb, today's total spend might be around 50, 50 USD. So, with all the food we got. Yep, we love the prices here. The food here is great. The people are great. Everything's great. We love Turkey. Yep. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed our little food tour. And tomorrow we are going to be heading south to head to the Pamukkale Pools.